So, it looks like Director Sakaki is our official liaison between the branch and Friar. I guess that means it's up to us to handle all the personal relationships inside the branch. <laughs> we got this. Oh, yeah. Hey, dude, if you could do, like, one thing for me. Don't, don't be all formal, yeah? Calling me captain and stuff, it still sounds kind of weird. Let's keep it casual, all right? Like, hey, Coda, what up? Awesome. That's mostly what I like to hear. Oh, hey, you down to grab some food after the mission? The restaurant here is top notch. It'll be my treat. So what do you say we go smash these origami and get to the delicious part? Mutsumi, would you make me two of the usual? Coming right up, Mr. Koda. You want it double-sized, too? You know I do. I don't know if you know, but this girl right here is Mutsumi Chikura. She is more than just a chef. She is a miracle worker. We used to eat all this bland crap. Field-safe rations and Finver made giant corn products. All that changed when Mutsumi arrived. Real quality comfort food. Just like my mom's recipes. <laughs> flattery won't get you any extra, you know. It's not flattery, I'm serious. The restaurant's been way busier since you arrived. Everyone says so, really. They say it's like eating at home again. <laughs> That's sweet, Mr. Koda. Maybe you'll get a little extra after all. Here you go. Sorry for the wait, but I really hope you like it. Oh, sweet, it's ready! Chow o'clock! Oh my gosh! It's so good, right? Right? It's so tempting, but I gotta hold back. Just a bit. I'm still trying to hit my goal weight. East is full of awesome local secret kind of stuff, just like Mutsumi's cooking. You're new, but I want you to see it all. So I'm gonna make it my personal quest to show you the wonders of the Far East. Hey, Hibari, you rocked it today. Thanks, you did well too, Captain Koda. I'll always do my best to keep your team safe. Total honesty, it's really all thanks to you that the first unit makes it back to the den unscathed. I'm proud to be a part of it, Captain. I'm here to support so you can fight without fear. On that note, I've noticed some inconsistency of late in the first unit. Is everything well? What? I um, no. No, we're good. Totally good. Thanks. How are you? Oh, man, it's just crazy long story. I'll tell you another time. I'm moving on now. No, oh, look at the time. It's half past mission. Uh, let's go. Fight well, Captain. Return to the den safely. As usual, Hibari was on point and bringing the backup. Man, nothing gets past that girl. All this tech is a freaking godsend. Even a few years ago, we were completely blind. We had no idea when the origami would show up. Then all this new stuff took off, and <laughs> now I don't think I could survive a day without it. I know it's tough to imagine, but that's just proof that we're moving forward, day by day. It's awesome. I mean, the more tech, the easier to survive. The more of us that survive, the more we can do to make life better. Heck, not too long ago, they even set up monitoring stations. They track the movement patterns of a bunch of origami species. With that knowledge, we can find safe areas, pinpoint strategic holdings, and better direct our forces to secure locations. <laughs> if this keeps up, maybe it won't be long before we're not afraid of the origami anymore. 
It's up to us God Eaters. We can make tomorrow better. We can make dreams a reality. <laughs> that sounded way less cheesy in my head. These ramparts are the anti-Aragami wall. It's a shield for the people inside the den. All that out there is the outer ghetto, where people who can't get into the den live. Mostly not by choice. If any Aragami got past the wall, it could get real bad real fast for the people down there. As soon as we find danger, any danger, we eradicate it. Just like we did now, any risk is too much. At first, I wasn't so sure. I mean, the Aragami just devour anything they can, right? What's to stop them from just charging through? But Fenrir thought of everything, you know? Um, oh man, what did they do? Um... Oh, right. They infused the wall with Aragami Oracle cells, so the little beasties wouldn't want to taste. Not to say the thing's impenetrable. Whenever a new species shows up, they wreak havoc, and we have to fix it. Endgame, the wall's really just a last resort. It's on us god-eaters to keep homes and families safe. Ah, looks like it's almost time. Let's head out. Bet you didn't know that my family comes from the outer ghetto. In fact, right over there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's my house. The tiny one. See the shack two houses down? When I was a little kid, the old man who lived there used to terrify me. You think so too? <laughs> who am I kidding? Of course you do. I'll take you around my old haunt sometime. You've got a real warmth, you know that? It actually really reminds me of my best friend. You see, all my friends from when I started are on a far-off mission now. It sounds weird, but they understand how important they are. But me, I don't think I'll ever leave here. My family's here, my squad. And one day, when the mission's over, my friends are coming home. I, I want to protect this place. Not just for me, but so they have somewhere to come home to. Oh, man, I've just been yammering on, huh? Anyway, point is, I think we've got a hell of a job here. Thanks so much. I really think I can make this work. I won't let anyone look down on us old-type god-eaters. We're a force to be reckoned with, and I mean to prove it. <laughs> wow, thanks. I'll do my best not to let you down. No pressure, though, right? That's the trick, my friend. Everyone's got to go out there and give it just a little extra. That's the simple truth. If any of us stop pushing, stop trying to hone our skills, it'd be bad news for everyone here. 
It's important to remember why we took this job in the first place. To protect people. That's why I'll always be right there with you, fighting the origami tooth and nail. We can protect everyone. We will. There's something big on the way. It's on us to be ready when it comes. Pardon me, Captain Coda? There's a message for you from the outer ghetto. Huh? I'm just about to head out on a mission. They asked specifically to speak to you. They were unyielding on that particular point. Uh, all right. Yes, that's correct. Huh? You mean right now? Okay, okay, got it. I'll come as soon as I'm done with the mission. No, it's fine. Leave defending the city to me. T? No, no, I'm fine. All right, see you soon. It's okay. Not a problem. The outer ghetto has some bones to pick with Finrer. They want me to mediate. Again. No worries. It's the same problems every time. I'll take care of it after the mission. But that means we gotta get a move on. Let's go. Hello, Captain. Just you today? Captain Coda tries very hard. He's always out in the ghetto, trying to make life better. He started out volunteering, but you know him. It wasn't long before he was running things. Oh man, what a pain. Listen, I got a message from the scary guy who used to live down the street, right? And when I show up, the whole ghetto is stuffed full of protesters demanding better treatment from Finrer. Oh yeah, yeah, it was just a misunderstanding. Once I explained it, they all kind of dispersed. Making a life out there is better than it was, but it's still not easy. They're tough people. Dealing with all that makes people strong, but also brash, rude, and generally untrusting. And I still love them. Oh, hey! What do you think about visiting my old house? I want to introduce you to my family. Drop by on my way back, and my mom was in the middle of making dinner. It's gonna be delicious. Hey, Hibari, would you? No problem, Captain. Two exit passes coming up. Sweet. So you're in? My mom's an amazing cook. I promise. <laughs> 